Hi, I'm Tom, and I wanted to talk to you about some of the various payload options you might want to consider for your unmanned surface vessel, or USV for short. There are more options than you might think. A DVL can be crucial in GPS denied regions, or very shallow waters for station keeping and accurate navigation. Syrinx DVL does just this, providing you with a stable platform for your operations. It works best when combined with our Sprint INS. Sprint INS is the backbone to providing accurate positioning and navigation for demanding survey work. Combined with other technologies, it provides exceptional results. Our Sprint Nav combines INS and DVL into one unit, making it ideal for navigating a USV. It reduces your power requirements and simplifies integration. As the INS and DVL are permanently aligned, it can be easily deployed without the need for constant corrections. Our USBL transceivers can be used to position underwater targets, but they offer much more than just tracking. They can also be used to command and control targets and harvest data from sensors below the surface. They also come in a range of sizes and performance depending on your project requirements. Our Modem 6 product family is built on a robust and reliable 6G acoustic platform. It can acoustically integrate and receive data back from seafloor sensors. This data can then be sent back to mission control via SATCOMs reducing the costly need for a manned vessel to undertake this task. If acoustics aren't fast enough, or if you need more bandwidth, then optical communications will be the answer. Our Bluecom modem can transmit up to 12 megabits per second. Solstice is a multi-aperture sonar designed to search, classify and map in mine countermeasures and hydrographic autonomous operations. It draws very little power and generates ultra-high a long track resolution at 0.15 degrees and boasts an impressive 200 meter integrated swath bathymetry. Thanks for watching, I hope you found this useful. If you have any more questions about USV payloads, then please get in touch.